The JMS Halo Traction Systems are part of the Jerome Group's family of quality products designed to meet the ever-changing professional needs of the medical community. The outlook for patients with cervical spine injuries has greatly improved over the past 10 years. Advances in emergency care and a more widespread use of cervical spine immobilization products has resulted in a growing survival and recovery rate for these patients. Clinical research and modern computer technology has enabled Jerome's research team of scientists, engineers, physicians, and affiliated medical professionals to use their expertise in the development of medical products that are on the leading edge of man's medical knowledge. The human spine is one of the most intricate parts of the body. It serves to protect the delicate spinal cord which it encloses. The spinal column extends from the base of the skull or occiput Consisting of 33 spinal segments called vertebrae, the spine is divided into five regions. The cervical, thoracic, lumbar, sacral, and coccyx, with the vertebrae numbered from top to bottom. The cervical spine consists of the first seven vertebrae, C1 through C7, and is located between the occiput and the thoracic spine. The range of motion of the spine is greatest in the cervical area. Therefore, it's critically important to immobilize this area and maintain neutral alignment. An injury to the spinal cord in this area can result in significant nerve damage, paraplegia, or quadriplegia. When treating a cervical spine injury, the immediate objective is to stabilize the cervical spine, while the overall objective is to treat the injury, or in some cases, correct the deformity. The halo is based on the principle of immobilization. JMS halo traction systems immobilize the C-spine injury, not the patient's lifestyle. The product's unique design allows the patient to be ambulatory throughout the recovery period. This eliminates the complications and expense of bed restriction. JMS halo traction systems provide rigid fixation of the head and body thereby preventing motion of the cervical spine. The halo device consists of three main sections, the ring, the vest, and the superstructure. The halo ring serves as an anchor point for the superstructure between the head and the body. The ring is rigidly fixed to the skull. This is accomplished through the insertion of four skull pins. The halo vest serves as the point of fixation on the body. It consists of a rigid, low-density polyethylene shell and a natural lamb's wool liner. The superstructure is the framework connecting the ring to the vest or the head to the body. Capital motion is controlled by adjusting the upright rods, transverse rods, and the threaded uprights or the serrated disc adapters. The System 2 halo superstructure is made of anodized aluminum bars and titanium hardware. The halo ring is also anodized aluminum and the pins are titanium. This system is MRI compatible. Each system includes all the equipment shown here as well as the necessary tools and application equipment. The complete JMS halo traction system consists of a cervical halo unit and a complete vest assembly. The cervical halo unit contains one halo ring assembled with three positioning pads and five titanium skull pins with locking nuts and protective caps. This is all packaged in a sterilizable pouch. Also included are one traction hoop, one automatic release torque wrench, one 7 sixteenths inch and one 9 sixteenths inch combination wrench. The complete vest assembly includes the interlocking vest with a natural lamb's wool liner, the support structure, attachments, 
and tools. The vest assembly is pre-assembled. When you purchase a complete halo system, you also receive a halo application kit, which contains all the supplies necessary to prepare the patient for application of the halo ring. It does not include, however, a hypodermic needle or a local anesthetic. Let's look now at how the patient is fitted with the JMS halo traction system. Choosing the proper size halo is a very important first step in the application process. Improper sizing can cause serious complications and harm the patient. The Jerome System 2 cervical halo unit is available in three ring sizes, small, medium, and large. The complete vest assembly is available in seven vest sizes, from extra small to extra large. Specific size ranges are outlined in the product literature. The halo ring is sized according to the largest circumference of the head in the coronal aspect. This is usually located one half to one centimeter above the top of the ears. The vest is sized by the circumference of the chest at the xiphoid process. When this measurement is at the upper limit of a size range, it is preferable to choose the larger vest size. Position the patient supine on the bed or gurney with the head supported eight to 10 inches beyond the edge using the Jerome Medical Systems head positioner. Be sure that the ring and pins have been pre-sterilized. Next, carefully shave or trim the hair from the posterior pin sites and clean all pin sites with antiseptic. Position the halo over the head with the raised part at the back of the skull and the front positioning pin lined up over the bridge of the nose. The halo should be approximately one half centimeter above the eyebrows and one half to one centimeter above the top of the ears. There should be equal distance and sufficient clearance between the halo and the head at all points. After the ring has been properly positioned, tighten the positioning pins gently to hold the ring in place. Select appropriate pin sites on the ring, two posterolaterally and two anterolaterally, over the lateral one-third of the eyebrow. Avoid the temporalis area. Apply local anesthetic at the pin sites and insert the four skull pins. The patient's eyes should be closed while inserting and tightening the pins. Simultaneously, hand tighten one anterior skull pin and its diagonally opposite posterior pin. Repeat with the other two pins, alternately tightening until all four pins are finger tight and at a 90 degree angle to the skull. Using the preset torque screwdriver supplied with the halo assembly, torque pins to six inch pounds, alternating diagonally. If a different pin pressure is desired, you may use the adjustable torque wrench, which is sold separately. Retorque the pins again at 24 hours. After this, check them for tightness every three to four weeks. This reduces the likelihood of pin migration or loosening. Lock the pins with lock nuts and place protective caps over the ends. Now you may remove the positioning pins and pads. If the treatment requires traction, the traction bale may be applied to the ring at this point. The patient should clean all pin sites regularly with hydrogen peroxide or betadine. The halo vest is completely assembled and ready for application. While maintaining support of the head and cervical spine, log roll the patient 90 degrees and place the posterior half of the vest as low as possible on the back, centering evenly. Return the patient to the supine position. The shoulder sections of the vest should rest on the top of the patient's shoulder. Loosen the posterior universal bolts and slide the crossbars up or down until the halo attachment bolts are in the same plane as the middle holes in the halo. Tighten the universal bolts. Loosen the threaded upright bolt 
and adjust it until the halo attachment bolt aligns with the hole closest to the center line of the neck. If you're using the serrated disc adapters, align them with the ring in the same way. Then insert the halo attachment bolts and tighten gently. Attach the flexion extension adjustment in the same way on the opposite side. Remove the anterior vest liner from the anterior vest shell. Position it on the front of the patient and attach it to the inside of the shoulder and waist stabilizers. Place the anterior half of the vest on the patient, taking care not to obstruct the sternal notch. Loosen the anterior universal bolts and position the front uprights and the transverse rods in the universals. Insert the interlocking tabs into the channels on the outside of the posterior vest shell. Fasten waist and shoulder stabilizers and the quick release buckles on the shoulder and the waist and adjust the straps firmly. Tighten the anterior universal bolts. For maximum rigidity, the upright rods should be parallel and form a 90 degree angle with the crossbars. Firmly tighten all bolts except the halo and the flexion extension attachment bolts. Adjust these for the desired head positioning in all three planes and tighten. After all of these adjustments are complete, tape both wrenches to the anterior vest shell so that they are easily accessible to the doctor for use during regularly scheduled checkups. Instructions for emergency access to the chest are found on a small sticker included with the complete vest assembly. The patient should be advised that dizziness and or nausea may occur the first few times he sits or stands up. Cervical spine injuries are among the most debilitating and costly of all medical afflictions. Through its research efforts, Jerome Medical has developed a cervical halo which addresses the key needs of both the physician and the patient. From the physician's point of view, the JMS Halo Traction System is MRI compatible, CT compatible, and radio translucent. It also provides access to the anterior and posterior area for surgery. And it's easy to apply and adjust. Each unit comes complete with the application kit, positioning pins, preset torque wrench, and tools. For the patient, the JMS Halo offers several features and benefits. It is lightweight, comfortable, and CPR accessible. And it allows the patient to return to an active lifestyle sooner. In the hands of skilled professionals, the JMS Halo has proven itself to be a superior external fixation device which immobilizes the injury and not the patient's lifestyle. The end result of its use is not only a safe and successful recovery, but also a saving of time and money for the patient and the healthcare system.